So an angel group is usually a collection of people coming together and within that they have defined processes. So why does one want to join an angel group? Most people join an angel group for several reasons. First one of that is deal flow. It is very, very difficult to have just on your own to have enough deal flow. And the second aspect of that is that so much technology, there's so many areas of technology being developed and that on your own, doesn't matter how good you are, you're not going to be able to have the intellectual depth to do the adequate due diligence and assess the value of the deal. So, so you need to reach out into a larger pool of people in order to do that. And then you also want to build your own trusted network. And angel group tend to be a natural place for that to happen. So then, then, then you look at angel group provide deal flow, you know, um, uh, expertise in order to collaborate, and also providing you the capital. You could love this company and you think it's going to be the greatest thing, but unless the company raises enough money, they're going to be a non-entity. An angel group is a way, collectively, you can pull the resources together and help a company, help an entrepreneur realizing his own vision. Now, it's very clear what the benefits are of working in an angel group. Does it bring other obligations you know, when you yes. join a group? It's always obligations because, because when you use the resources, you also have to give the resources. So, so when you ask for help from your colleague, you also need to help your colleague when they ask for help from you. Right? And then, so, so within an angel group, then what you're looking at is a sense of camaraderie, collaboration, and that is a give and take process. Okay? And, and in my case, because I belong to multiple angel groups, it sometimes it, it gets a little bit complicated in order to managing the obligation and commitment from each group. But you, know, you, you get the chance to, to meet and work and build trusted network of people and relationship, and it's a really wonderful opportunity. What has kind of drawn you to an angel group? What kind of characteristics about an angel group pulls you in and says, I really want to be part of that group? So, so I could think of, you know, um, each group has their own personality, right? And, and, and when a group grows to a critical mass, it has its own personality, it has its own mode of operation, and you have to look at what value does that group offer. For example, with San Hill Angels, which is one of the groups I belong to, San Hill Angel is now about 100 members. Most of them are still working. So within that group, you have people who have technical knowledge in all kind of areas, and they still have ears to the ground, boots to the gr on the ground, so that in particular point you come up, they can very, very quickly assess that and say, well, who's doing this, who's doing that? Does that make sense? Is that technical problem can solve the business case that they presented? Right? So you can do a very, very quick assessment of the deal and know it's good or bad or ugly. Right? And, 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 and that's, that's, that's one element of it. Where on my own or a different other group, it may take a little bit longer if you don't have that you know, ear to the ground, boots on the ground kind of um, involvement. And with 100 members and their collective network, it is a very, very powerful organization for that.